Hello, it's Raimi, and today our video is going to take place in Hawaii. And I'm so excited because we are traveling to Hawaii for a couple weeks to visit some of our closest friends, and I cannot wait to do all kinds of hanging out, beach reading, book shopping, exploring, and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video and I will talk to you in Hawaii. I've never had papaya. Really? Okay. Ever? Good, right? Well, it's good, it's a lot. You guys are always surprised. well you can hear me but we're gonna be starting I was talking to my sister and I was telling her about how I have just been so upset after finishing the quill prints and she was like this will help this will get you out of that that sadness so we're starting at Qatar Hawaii for a couple days now and I haven't really done like a lot of talking to you guys but I just wanted to kind of pop on here and give a little bit of an update. I'm still reading Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire but I'm kind of just reading it before bed and in the morning and then I was reading One Italian Summer which I'm still planning on reading. It just is pretty intense and sad at the beginning. Yeah it just was not quite what I was wanting to read while I'm on the beach and just trying to like relax. And then I started Akatar, and it's really good. It's giving me Hunger Games vibes in the beginning. The writing style is really good and I feel like I'm really gonna like it. I got about 32 pages into that yesterday and I plan on reading more of that today. This is just kind of gonna be like a reading vlog slash like whatever we're doing in Hawaii, I guess, because <laughs> I don't really know. But um, anyway, just wanted to give you guys a little update about what is happening in the reading, like what I'm reading, because it's kind of a little all over the place right now, like starting books, not quite finishing them. I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself a cup of coffee.
get too many books. No. How many you got there? Just the right amount. Just the right amount? Mm hmm Okay. Because you need all those, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. What you need, you gotta get. Absolutely. What about those books you just put back? Do you need those too? Kind of. <laughs> but not as much as these. I think that's probably the most I've ever spent on books at one time. Oh my. Hi guys, I wanted to do a little book haul. Oh my gosh, I am so, look at this. Um, oops, I feel like bookends, every single time I go there, they have the best freaking books there that like Barnes Noble never has in stock, the used bookstores never have in stock bookends, okay? So if you have one in your area, I would highly recommend, or if you ever come to Oahu, hit up this bookends. Let's do a little book haul really quick. I got Legends and Lattes. I'm so excited. I have been jonesing to read this book and I've been wanting to kind of check out the cozy fantasy genre because I love fantasy and I love cozy things. So we're gonna read Legends and Lattes. I'll probably do a reading vlog on it, maybe do a couple other cozy fantasy books and do like a little cozy fantasy reading vlog or something. Then I also got Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, which I'm very excited about because I heard that it kind of gives Cruel Prince vibes, like in a way, and I have been searching for something, searching for something similar. So I'm very excited also. This is just like such a beautiful book and it doesn't have a dust cover. So this is just like the cover and oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. I love it so much. I got Nettle and Bone, which I'm very excited about. It's kind of a, a small one, but this one also I think was said to give off Cruel Prince vibes. So I'm very excited about this. I read the description and it sounds so interesting. And then I've heard of this book. And when I was reading the description, I hadn't realized what it was at first. And when I was reading the description, I was like, oh my gosh, this sounds amazing. And I remember why I wanted to pick it up when I first saw it. It just sounded so good. And I feel like I haven't read a book description where I was like, oh, my gosh, like I need to read that right now. That's how I felt about this one. We of course had to pick up some Holly Black because <sighs> I've just been deprived. Um, and so I picked up Book of Night. This one's a little bit controversial. People like either love it or hate it. So I'm kind of curious because I love Cruel Prince. I'm very curious to see if I like other things by Holly Black. I did really like um, The Stolen Air, so we'll see and then i also picked up which okay i just feel like i'm very like uneducated i guess but i picked up the darkest part of the forest which i did not realize is also so it says in the same world as the best-selling folk of the air series i'm like what i'm so confused i did not realize this just blows my mind so we are definitely going to be reading this ASAP and I'm so excited. So we picked up six books today. Um, yes, that was a lot in the best way possible. Um, I am so freaking excited. These are all books that I'm like, okay, did I need them? No, but when you're on vacation and you're just having a good time and you get to go to a bookstore that you don't normally have near you, like it happens, okay? It happens. So we have some freaking good books here and I am so excited and I cannot wait. These might have to be after I finish Akatar. I don't know. We will see. But I'm really liking Akatar so far, but I'm only 30 pages in. So I need a beach day so that I can curl up and read my book. Because honestly, there hasn't been a ton of time for reading. We've been kind of go, go, go. And today is our five year anniversary. Uh, we've been married for five years, which is insane to me blows my mind and so we just have a really busy day we're gonna do jewelry making which i'll see if i can show you guys some of that like we can solder our own jewelry and like kind of put it together and everything that's gonna be so exciting maybe i'll get to read this afternoon i'm not entirely sure <laughs> I just picked up some 
sushi from our favorite sushi spot called Sushi Spot. <laughs> That's literally the name of it. And I'm gonna eat and keep reading. I just got to page 60. And it's going good. It's very much Hunger Games meets Beauty and the Beast. So, but you know, we really haven't made it that far. So we gotta keep going. We gotta see what's happening. But I feel like the major thing, like, like a major plot point just happened. So, curious to see how it continues to unfold. Hi guys, I'm finally back on the beach and I'm really excited to do some reading. I have Actar here. I'm also going to do a little devotional while I'm on the beach today. We have a Jacob and we have a Brady and we're going to check out this little library that I spotted on the road on the way into Kailua. So we'll see if it's any good. this book guys there's like so much annotating that's pretty cool <laughs> nothing to <laughs> Hi guys, sorry for the surfboards, they're a little obtrusive, but we are going to be going to our last bookstore in Hawaii and I'm super excited. This one, there was a local that told me about and it's a library bookstore. I'm really excited and the guy said there's like 25 cent books, so could be really good. This will be our last book stop of Hawaii. A little bit sad but also excited because I found a lot of really great things to bring back home so let's go check out this library bookstore
It is a little while later. We are home from Hawaii and I wanted to just do a quick little wrap up on the two books that I finished. Th this just makes me so happy. Okay, first we finished Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This book is huge. It was 730 something pages, but so good. This book has been my favorite movie adaptation. So getting to read the book was just so iconic for me. I loved it so much. I gave it a five out of five stars. Absolutely, absolutely loved this one. And then we finished Akatar, and this book has been beat to crap because it was in my beach bag. It was getting thrown around on the beach. It was in my travel bag. It's a little worse for wear, um, but that's okay. I didn't really crack the spine. I try really, really hard not to crack my book spines because I like them uncracked on my bookshelf. This one was pre-cracked because I bought it used. So I was just like, yeah, let's get into it. And I like didn't mind at all because it was already pre-cracked and not gonna lie, I kind of loved it. Anyway, yes, so I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses. I gave this book a four out of five stars. The writing style was so interesting to me. I don't, it was like, I don't even know how to like describe it. It was simultaneously slow and fast and simultaneously like I didn't really under like not that I didn't understand but I didn't really understand what the objective was or what the plot was of this book for like a while. I was just like going along with the story and I was like okay and then you know stuff happens and you're like, oh, whoa, that was like, it makes sense now. And I really enjoyed myself. So it wasn't a negative thing by any means. I just don't think I've ever read a book that flowed that way. So I really enjoyed this book and I'm really, really excited to read book two. I've heard that that is majority of people's favorite book, but yeah, so I finished two books while we were in Hawaii and a little bit after, not gonna lie. Also, I forgot to show you guys the ring that I made. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have the ring and I will do my best to show you guys because it's really, really cool. Essentially, this is a little piece of sea glass from Hawaii and then I stamped these like little rainbows or arches all across and I kind of like that it's not like super perfect. On the inside, I stamped J and then a five for our five year anniversary. And I made it to fit on my middle finger. And I think it just looks so cute. Anyway, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next one. Happy reading, bye.